All right, we're now on the fifth chapter of Pirki Avot. And it started, it, it begins, the first several Mishnayot talk about things that are coming tens. Tens. Huh? Remember? Let's go back a little bit and let's make a short resume. In ten utterances, God created the world. Huh? Ten utterances, God created the world. That was the first one. Second one, another ten. Ten generations from Adam to Noah. And ten generations from <clears throat> Noah to Abraham. Ten. Another ten. Ten miracles. I'm, I'm sorry. Ten tests were given by God to Abraham. Ten tests. And Abraham stood, withstood all these terrible tests that God gave him. Ten. God told Abraham to circumcise himself. He told him to kill his son. Ten miracles were done for our forefathers in Egypt. And ten more were done at Yam Suf, at the Red Sea. Now we have the one we did yesterday. Ten miracles were done in the Holy Temple. I remember we learned that. Ten miracles in the Holy Temple. And now we're on today's. Here we go. Ten things were created. Erev Shabbat. Bein HaShemashot. Ten, God created the whole world, right? And he created man. Well, there are ten things that were created after man. Right before the sunset. Now on Shabbat, God, God did not create anything. And man was the last official thing that he created. But the Midrash here tells us, no, that there are ten things, weird things, <clears throat> that God created right before Shabbat came in. What are they? Pia Oretz, Pia Be'er, the opening of the ground, the opening of the, <clears throat> the well, the opening of the donkey, the mouth of the donkey, the mouth of the um, rainbow, eh? the mana, the staff, Moses' staff, the shamir. We'll see, it's this weird worm. A katava mikhtav, different opinions about what this is, but a katava mikhtav, generally speaking, is the letters that were used to write the Torah and the tablets. <clears throat> And the tablets themselves. All right, we're going to have a little explanation what these ten things are. Some people say also the mazikin, uh, all the, what do they call them? Demons. According to Judaism, a lot of people can be crazy by demons. Huh? Came along all these, you know, Freud and these people said, no, it's just different aberrations of this, and we can fix it. But there were actually big tzaddikim. Among them was also the the, the Chavitz Chaim. And they had uh, they knew Kabbalah, and they could actually take these evil spirits out of people. It's it's documented. Pretty bizarre. Right? It's documented. A famous one was the Ben Ishchai. It was the book, uh, one of his pupils was called Rabbi Yehuda Pataya. And he wrote a book which is called the Ruach, Ruchot Mesaprot, I think. Spirits talk about all these spirits that he took out of people. It's really quite amazing. Okay, anyway, <coughs> demons. <coughs> Some people say the demons were created also. So there wasn't just 10 things, there was 11. And there was actually 12. The, the grave of Moses, because this is Moses is buried, but nobody knows where. Somebody says also the, the ram that Abraham sacrificed instead of sacrificing Isaac. And some people say also the first uh, players, huh? players, how do you make players? Players are made from iron. If you want to work with iron, so it's red hot, how do you hold on to it? You have to have a players. What's the players made of? Iron. How do you make a players? Hmm. So you have to, it's red hot, so you make with, you have to hold on to it. 
How do you hold on to it? With players. Where'd you get those players? Which players? The first players that you're grabbing onto the second players with. I mean, if you already got a pair of players, so you don't have to make new players. You already got players. So we'll talk about this. Let's let's have a look. What are these 10 things that were created on Shabbat after man was created, right before the sunset? What are they? And we have the Bartanur. The mouth of the earth to swallow up Korach. I remember Korach got swallowed up when he tried to make a war against Moses. The Pia Be'er, the mouth, the opening of the well. Which well? The well of Miriam. It was in a rock, and this rock would travel along with the Jewish people in the desert. Some people say that this rock opened up its mouth and said song, like it says, Ale Be'er of Anulo. Afterwards, when the, the whole story with the, the, the what was it, the Amorites, they, they hid in, in the mountains and tried to kill the Jews and it kept a big miracle. The mountains came together. Anyway, that the amount of this, that the, that this rock of Miriam, that water spouted out from it, that from the place where it spouted out, that it sang also. Okay, another mouth, the mouth of the donkey. Who's donkey? And it says that between, right before evening, it was decreed that it would speak with Bilaam. Huh? That it would speak with Bilaam. Now, this donkey must have been pretty old. Because the donkey, I mean, it for sure was like more than, I don't know, 2,000-something years old. Moses was like 400 years after Abraham. So. Anyway, pretty old donkey. So that's a, But that's not the amazing thing. The amazing thing is the donkey spoke. It's written in the Torah in Parsha's bill. A cash at the um, the rainbow. What rainbow? The rainbow that God made after the flood. The man, the mana that came down for the Jewish people for forty years. Another thing that was created right before the sun set on the first day, created after man. The staff, the staff of Moses that Moses did all the miracle with. Miracles with it was made from San Pier Non. I don't know, maybe sapphire or something. Some sort of a of a, ro- a hard rock material. I don't know what it is. Precious stone. We'll see in a moment that that's what the tablets were made of. Hashamir, this weird worm <clears throat> that's very small, kiseora, and you, if you would show it a stone <clears throat> that had a line on it, so you put this stone on the line, this worm, on the line, on the stone, and somehow or other the stones would crack on their own. Huh? And also with this, they also carved out the stones on the breastplate of the Kohen Gadol, Avne Ephod. Okay, next, the, the writing, it says that sort of this, the form of the letters that were carved on the tablets. Some people say the, the, that Rashi says that it was the letters that were written on, on the scroll that Moses wrote. Anyway, the, the form of the letters that were written on the tablets and the mikhtav, this is the fact that it was written on the, 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 the letters that were on the tablets could be read from the four sides of the tablets. Huh? Tablets sort of almost like square. We'll see in a minute. The tablets themselves, they were also made from the Sampirin. It says that they were taken from the, somehow or other, from the, the sun. The, the, what is the molten lava, whatever it is, of the sun. In any case, it was long, six Amas, it was wide, six Amas, and it was thick, three Amas. It was like one big stone, and then they cut it into two. So it ended up that it was long, six. And in any case, it came out to be almost square. It was deep, three, and wide, three, and long, six, each one of them. Anyway, they were um, carved out 
from the God carved them out. And it shows that they existed from the beginning of time, the tablets that Moses used. Some people say also the Mazikian, these are the demons. After God crawled, broke, bro, bro, oh, he created all these things as when he, he, he said he created the spirits of these things, but he didn't create their bodies until Shabbat came in. So he wasn't able to create the bodies. So there's just all these demon spirits all around. Some people say also the the um, the ram that Abraham saw. That God decreed on this lamb, right? This decreed on this lamb that it would be caught. So Abraham was like 2,000 years after the world was created, a little bit more. So this this lamb was a 2,000-year-old lamb that you don't see every day. And it says also, and some people say that the first players was made miraculously, that God provided the first players. This was right before the sunset. And that man was able to take this first players and make other players as well. That's where the first players came from. All the other players for all nations. Have a good day with Mashiach. Now, God willing, 8.15 tomorrow, we will learn Hasidut. Shalom. Uvracha.